So Joe's career is really unique. If you think about it, it spans the entire timeline of our space program nearly. Um, he started out as an Air Force pilot, uh, test pilot, flying the X-15, which is a very unique airplane. Uh, he actually earned his astronaut wings in the X-15. Uh, then he went on to serve through the Apollo program, uh, helping the Apollo 13 mission, serving back up on Apollo 14. And, and then it actually went on to fly the shuttle. He did the glide test, uh, ALT tests, um, and then uh, commanded two space shuttle missions. Uh, and then even after that, when he retired from flight rotation, he still stayed on with NASA as an advisor. So really unique that uh, if you think of a capsule or a X-15 or the shuttle or even the work he helped with on the space station, uh, the name Joe Engel goes all the way through that space program's history. The coolest thing uh, I probably have ever heard is a sentence from him. Uh, I once asked him about flying the shuttle uh, through re-entry uh, and landing manually. He was the only person to ever do it. And uh, Joe told me that once you slowed it down through Mach 16, it was just a big pussycat. And, uh, and I said, Jesus, Joe, that's the coolest thing I've ever heard. The collection here uh, is truly unique and truly special in the matter that uh, again, Joe's, Joe's whole career starts with experimental aircraft. Um, but think about it, he went all the way from that to flying the shuttle. Uh, those artifacts are all highlighted here in the museum, uh, as well as focusing on Jeannie Angle's career. Um, and we're really proud of that. Uh, Joe's an EA member. He gave tirelessly to our Young Eagles programs, our Make-A-Wish uh, kids that would come to AirVenture every year. There's no better fitting place uh, that we feel uh, to honor him than in our museum here. And something our curator Amelia once told me is, is she said, you know, it's because of Joe and Jeannie and Frank Borman that our museum went from an air museum to an air and space museum. It's because of the trust that these people gave us uh, and we care for these objects here and preserve them for future generations that we're able to, uh, to tell that story. And we, we hopefully are telling Joe's and Jeannie's story in a, in a meaningful way here. Joe was just a, a, a humble giant um, because you knew all of the cool and amazing things he had done in his career, uh, but he just had, uh, he had no ego. I mean, he was just such a cool and caring person. Here's somebody who started out like so many of us uh, and he ended up touching the stars, which is pretty amazing.